Hi, I want to do a quick video post on rib flare. So I'm not talking about the congenital rib flare that happens when the sternum, someone is born with the sternum um, concave and that can cause a rib flare. And I'm not talking about the rib flare when the whole rib cage is displaced, like when you're, you try to stand up straight and you um, rotate your whole rib cage up and back. But I'm talking about an acquired rib flare that happens with adhesions in the costodiaphragmatic recesses. And the costodiaphragmatic recess is that space between the diaphragm, say this is the diaphragm, and then this is the rib cage. There should be a space that's free in here. But because of inflammation or um, infection in the thoracic cavity, um, adhesions can form in here. And I also think there's a, a piece that we're not moving naturally by hanging and climbing and we're not breathing correctly either, so that probably plays into the adhesions forming as well. But if there's a space, then when you breathe in, all the ribs can move in a torsional way, rotation, and the whole rib cage expands in a circumference. But if there's adhesions here, so see how these are stuck together, and you breathe in, those lower ribs are just going to flare out with every breath. And bone is um, can deform by the loads that you place on it. So you think about how often you breathe, how many times a day you breathe in a day, and you're telling those bones to flare out. They're actually going to stay there at some point. And so I just wanted to do the video demonstration because it's easier to explain what's going on. But follow the link below to find out what you can do about it. And I'll draw some pictures about or draw some pictures of the um, costo diaphragmatic recess so you can see um, what that looks like. All right, thank you.